Sorry, no matter how educated you think you are, how much of English you think you you know, even your phone, uh -huh, this our phone is going to embarrass you, disappoint you, because you think you know how to speak English until you come to the United States of America, you find out that your accent means nothing. Even when you live in Nigeria, you think you have all these beautiful accents until you get over here, you know that hey, your accent is basically nothing. Nobody understands understands you even hello family welcome to another beautiful edition of annie otter's vlog if today is your first day watching me you are welcome if you're a returning fan well wish a subscriber follower lover thank you so much for coming back i really really love and appreciate you okay guys in today's edition i'm going to be talking about things you need to know before moving abroad a lot of people don't tell you this and you see all the nice rosary parts and you think that's the way it is it just happened overnight no 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 you're going to mix the shockers you're going to meet disappointment you're going to meet embarrassment and again you're going to meet successes a lot of nice things along the way so number one things you need to know before moving abroad yes you're going to miss your family mm -hmm. your family of origin you're going to miss people you're going to miss your parents your siblings your cousins your relative okay you're going to miss special locations in the family child dedication weddings funeral uh family christmas get together housewarming graduations you are going to miss out a whole lot i know in today's technology you can get pictures you can get videos yes it's possible but there's nothing as good as being present so be prepared to be missing a whole lot from your family number two cultural barrier oh my goodness this is a shocker living abroad will make you look like a fool for some time okay because when you come here you're meeting people from all over the world okay people you never heard of even within your country like, so there will be cultural shocker things that means nothing to you means a lot to other people and things that doesn't mean anything to other people means a lot so again you have to be open you got to learn how to coexist with people from different backgrounds different culture races ethnicities and everything you got to quickly adjust be open-minded upgrade your brain about cultural awareness and this is going to help you to be cultural tolerance okay it is of a great importance to you and the way you're going to progress and navigate your life here in abroad okay so if you do it very well it's going to create a high level of confidence and self-esteem within you and this will make you to be smarter and increase your level of productivity number three language barrier mm-hmm so language barrier, in a way, no matter how educated you think you are, how much of English you think you you know, even your phone, uh -huh, this our phone is going to embarrass you, disappoint you, because you think you know how to speak English until you come to the United States of America, you find out that your accent means nothing. Even when you live in Nigeria, you think you have all these beautiful accents until you get over here, you know that hey, your accent is better basically nothing nobody understands you even for us who have lived here for years still there are things we will say and nobody understands us we have to adjust and say it in a different way with a different type of phone with a different type of english to make it work so be ready for the embarrassment of your accent and frustrated in trying to adjust the way you speak even your tone of voice even you approach your phone, you're going to change entirely. Even when you gather with your family members, you speak and say, oh, Americanized. Or maybe if you're from UK, you have another way of speaking. Four, be ready to start afresh. Mm -hmm. Even if you're a medical doctor in your country, you come to US to go to classes to upgrade and take board exam to pass. Even if you're a nurse from your country, you're still going to study and pass your board exams. Some people have come over here in the US and they are working as nurse aide. And these people, some of them are doctors from their country. Some are nurses from their country, but they start from nurse aide so you're going to know how to swallow your pride and start from lower it's going to take you time to climb back to where you were before again the sense the sense in this is to make sure that you're able 
to adjust to your new environment be ready to upgrade your mentality to upgrade and update the way you do things from your country of origin so it's going to shock you how people do things here okay you're going to follow rules number one you're going to follow rules you are not there from africa or any other continent where people don't think or follow rules the way it should be here in the united states of america you have to follow rules otherwise police will put you in jail then go handcuff you and you don't want that so there are rules about the lights the road you know you have to respect people who are walking on leg you know go jam them all you got to clear for them and you don't have to think like your village people when you come to us you got to upgrade the way you do things the way you reason the way you see people is going to change the way you respect people is going to change the way you talk to people is going to change the adjustments is going to be overall and technology wise you're going to learn how to use computer it's very important because most almost 99 percent of the job here you have contact with technology in one way or the other so these are things you have to do and set your priorities right and you'll find out that this upgrade of mentality is going to be easy thing is the weather differences uh-huh so again i'm going to be using the ones that i'm used to let's say the nigerian weather the heat is there the rainy season is there the hammer time is so over here, the weather, mm -mm, you're going to feel it. The heat here in Texas, the heat is heat. It's going to be hot, hotter than anywhere in Nigeria, okay? So the weather, when it's cold, it's cold. There will be snow, there will be sleet, there will be ice on the road. You're driving, you're going to be careful if you have to drive. You're going to adjust to your winter coat, to your summer clothing, to your spring clothing. <laughs> and to your autumn clothing okay another thing is work and balance of family yes a lot of us came over here as married women remember you're going to have children go to school and work you need to work together with your spouse if you don't this can easily break down that relationship Otherwise, hmm just know that when you come abroad when you travel anywhere abroad you are your own nanny your house help your errand girl or boy your cleaner your your <laughs> your, your laundry person okay you are even your driver you are everything to yourself so many people that have maids in nigeria they come over here with their children they have difficult time adjusting because they're used to somebody doing everything for them so you have to learn how to be independent and multi-tax okay in so many dimensions you have to adjust to it you so when you come in abroad please brace up and face it and if you're bringing anybody abroad as your spouse tell them how it is don't tell them all these flashy flashy things and telling them how beautiful everywhere is and everything is easy that's why they become too shocked when they come over tell them about everything they're going to see let them know that will help them to brace up while traveling abroad coming in as a single person to live in people's house please when you come help them to do things so don't keep sleeping and sleeping and sleeping you get up and eat and put plate in the sink and this there's no made here there's no moving into people's house abroad be useful to them don't cause problem to them and also plan to leave people's house within six months get a job find a way out get your own apartment come and visit when you can don't stay down till you cause problem before you start moving quickly adjust and leave then number eight health care and tax obligations you know back home people will tell you hey in america hospital is free this is free uh -uh. know the policy of the country you're moving into is it free or you're going to contribute a little bit or you have to have health insurance how does it work over there so don't come with the mentality of eh, maybe if i finish if they finish taking care of me i will run uh -uh. Be careful know where you move into and how things works over there and in terms of tax yes whenever you work on Kosam, tax people will take their own share before they give you the remaining okay so again when you buy things you will pay tax men and women pay tax in america and develop a network of support this is very very important so when i came i was having children i was going to school i was working i had friends from kenya from zimbabwe 
Cameroon, Nigeria. And again, when you're doing this network, it's very, very important to have friends at different level, different age, depending on what you need them for. These people will also help you to support you emotionally, physically, and otherwise. So again, this is not a network that you're going to be grabbing from. Be ready to give. If somebody in your network asks you to help babysit at your home, it's good to be open-minded to help them babysit. But in a network of support, is give and take. But make sure that this network is imparting you, imparting you positively. Number 10, be prepared for the experience of a lifetime. So this is unfolding adventure. Yes, life of a sea is an unfolding adventure because you're going to be seeing new things and you're going to be adjusting to it. Even when you think you got it all together, don't be surprised it will change on you and be ready to adjust to the new thing. So if you're careful enough, you'll see your, your growth is going in the direction that you want. It's an unending experience and it can be very very exciting if you do it right okay. you're going to discover yourself self-discovery is very very easy overseas if you follow the right way you will find that this journey that you, you at the end of the day you'll be glad that you took the journey and you did it well so again before you come abroad go through these 10 things that i have mentioned adjust to it mentally before you physically experience it is very, very important thank you guys for watching another beautiful edition of annie author's vlog if you haven't subscribed to my channel why waiting follow me on facebook and subscribe to my youtube channel i'm also there on instagram i love you guys have a great day stay safe bye